Looking here at some abdominal muscles, we can see we've got pec major and minor up here on the uh, superior aspect of the torso. Here we've got rectus abdominis. So rectus meaning straight. You can see this is a straight muscle running straight up and down the front of the abdominal wall there. So rectus abdominis, you can see four parts of it there. Now on this side of the model, we have the superficial muscles left intact and on this side some of them have been removed. So what we're looking at here on the lateral, or the anterolateral abdominal wall is the external oblique muscle. So the fibres of the external oblique run inferiorly as they go medially and what that means is the, the fibres are running in the same direction your fingers would as if you're putting your fingers in your pockets. So if you can just imagine putting your fingers in your hip pockets down here, the fingers are running in the same direction as these muscle fibres if you do that. So that's the external oblique. And you can see it comes right up here to where the serratus anterior attaches as well. So external oblique. On this side of the model, the external oblique has been removed and here we can see fibres of the internal oblique. And notice the superior ones are travelling in the opposite direction to the external ones. Okay, so the going opposite opposite way, but that's only the superior ones. It actually kind of fans as it moves inferiorly, the internal oblique. So if you're looking at the inferior ones, they're actually kind of similar to the external, but if you're looking at the more superior ones, they're opposite. So, so we've got external oblique and internal oblique that we can see clearly from um, an anterior point of view. And the transversus abdominis muscle fibres are on the inside. So this is the deepest layer of the anterolateral abdominal wall. Here we've got the transversus abdominis here and here. And on this model, hopefully you can clearly see it, we've got three layers of muscle here where we've got external oblique, internal oblique and then transversus abdominis. On the other side we only have two, transversus abdominis and then the internal oblique. But you can also see the rectus abdominis here from a posterior point of view. So all the muscle fibres in the middle here are rectus abdominis and the other three they all kind of end and only tendons wrap around the rectus there.